No need to write a speech. I wrote it for you. In the hallowed halls of McKinley High, one name rises to the top. Tina Cohen Chang. There is no other choice for valedictorian. I humbly drop out. No me gusta. Artie, I need valedictorian in order to guarantee my acceptance to Brown. If I don't get it, I'm screwed. Please, take the fall from me. No, it's not my fault you didn't apply to enough schools. Maybe I was too busy making costumes and building sets and swaying in the background while everybody else was front and center. You always get everything you want and I get nothing. Woman, are you insane? You just won prom queen. Which counts against me. I read online that college admission directors think that high school prom queens are self-centered attention whores. Exactly. Excuse me? It's time you heard this. The whole school's been talking about it. Everyone's convinced that sometime between junior and senior year, an alien invaded your body and made you shallow and desperate. Says the nerd who's dating the Cheerio. Says the hag who vapor raped Blaine. That was blown totally out of proportion, and yeah, I had a little crush on a guy who could never love me, but is that any different than you having a crush on a girl who can't possibly love you? Kitty does love me. Please! She's obviously using you for some kind of sick charity project, and you're using her too. That's what your speech can be about, how you're making a sad, last-ditch effort to be popular by dating McKinley's biggest bitch. Actually, Tina, you're McKinley's biggest bitch, and I'm gonna win this. 